All the lessons of life that I learned in West Virginia contributed to any success that I've had more than anything else. The work ethic, the perseverance, the ability to overcome adversity, but also have good relationships with people, have compassion for other people, help other people when you can, because there's needs in all communities. The biggest need that we try to address is how do we create opportunities for young people? How do we create opportunities that they have a better chance to be successful in their life? You know, everybody's not blessed with the same opportunities. There is disparity throughout Appalachia, throughout Alabama, you know, in our backyard. Partnership with ARC allows us to, to really shrink that divide. The Appalachian Regional Commission is an economic development partnership agency of the federal government and 13 state governments focusing on 423 counties across the Appalachian region. Alabama's Appalachian region includes the 37 northernmost counties. The town of Wichita is a town of less than 2,000, a rural area that's growing in a positive way. With the opening of the industrial park, with Mercedes coming in, we needed assistance to be able to upgrade the infrastructure, sewer, water, those things. The original sanitary sewer system was designed to support the town of Woodstock and the town of West Blockton. When Mercedes and the industrial park developed, there was a lack of capacity for sanitary sewer. I was approached with the problem of not being able to make payroll and pay our bills. So you can imagine while getting ready to try to look at making an investment into our sewer system, that was a struggle. The Jesse Owens Museum is a nonprofit foundation. Our purpose is to perpetuate and honor Jesse Owens' legacy. The biggest obstacle to promoting the museum and his story is raising funds. <laughs> NARCOG, or the North Central Alabama Regional Council of Governments, we make that connection between the local communities and the federal government. After a meeting that was taking place here at the museum, I noticed a resolution hanging on the wall to name a section of Alabama Highway 36, the Jesse Owens Parkway. We worked on getting this signage for 17 years. And we found out that it would cost about $18,000 to get the signs needed that would be required if we put one sign on the ground. March of 2020, when COVID hit, um, we go home for what we think is going to be two weeks. We're going to carry on the rest of the year normal. And then that didn't happen. Our main goal to make sure that there was no loss of learning was to make sure that every student had resources and a Chromebook in hand. Our local legislative delegation, TARCOG, met with our superintendent and explained the involvement that ARC would have in supporting our efforts to reach every child one-to-one -one with a device. Because we know we have the potential for funding for innovative projects, we're able to sit down at the table with a mayor or a school superintendent and say, yeah, you know, that's a, that's a lofty goal, but we've got a partner who wants us to think big and dream big. And having a partner like ARC allows us to do that. We had worked with ARC in the past to accomplish infrastructure improvements projects in Alabama. They have their process uh, very streamlined from the application to the design through construction and completion. I was blown away by the response by the Appalachian Regional Commission. We started putting this application together for funding in December of 2015. And by April or May of 2016, the signs were in place. After the signage went up, the traffic increased from about 15,000 to 90,000 that year. 
the response by everyone involved was incredible and it just gives further validation that this needed to be done, that this was something that people believed in and that it's a story that people want to tell. We partnered with leadership um, with the school and submitted an application and was funded and now students have Chromebooks in their hands. Every child within our district had one-to-one -one access to technology and those capabilities so that there was no loss of learning. We were able to post assignments, test online. They didn't come back and have to catch up. They were right where we needed them to be. ARC specifically funded wastewater treatment upgrades for the town of West Blockton, as well as four pump stations and two pump stations for the town of Woodstock. Both communities are now poised for additional growth, and we're seeing that. We have a major development shopping center coming in. We got another development talking about 1,200 houses coming in. The future looks bright, not only for the town of Woodstock, but for the county as a whole. I understand that Woodstock is going to grow first. They have the interstate access and that we have the sewer treatment plant. And during this project, this is the first time Woodstock and West Boston actually worked together on a project. Man, I look at Jeff like a brother now. I've talked to a lot of people who, who don't know that the museum is here, and it's just such an impressive story. It needs to be told over and over again, and the future generations need to, to hear about it because you can come from a very humble beginning, and then with enough hard work and focus, you can go as far as you want to go. Jesse Owens taught us that if you're denied opportunity in one part of life, you can excel some other way or in some other place. And it's really important that when opportunity pops up, you grab hold of it. You know, a computer in the hand of a child can change their life. And um, that's exactly what happened in Scottsboro. I'm so excited to learn how to code a website and how to create a brochure and so many other things. With these Chromebooks, I was able to learn how to program things. That helped me develop a skill that could help my family one day in the future. Mercedes has been the spark for this community that has ignited it and put it on the map and allowed it to have so many more opportunities that it would not have without this industrial growth. It gave our citizens an opportunity to go and work just right down the street, be able to earn decent wages without having to travel very far. It gave us an opportunity of people wanting to move to this area. When you're able to lift a whole community up, you see a change in everything and really brings communities up to parity with the rest of the nation. And I think that's one of the beautiful outcomes of, of funding from ARC. The Appalachian Development Program at its best is to empower you to be what you want to be, wherever you want to be that. It's give you the opportunity. The main thing is if you're Appalachian, you know it, you take your DNA with you. You take your memories with you that make you who you are. There's a lot of good people where I grew up, as well as here in Alabama, that do try to serve other people. You know, you're really helping somebody else for their benefit, not for your benefit. And I think that helps the culture. I think it helps the community. I think it helps the togetherness. That's service. The Alabama Mountain Lakes Tourist Association is proud to produce this video to show you just how important the Appalachia Regional Commission is to the state of Alabama. For those that may not know, 37 counties in Alabama are part of the Appalachia region. Each year, investments from the Appalachia Regional Commission support hundreds of economic development projects across its 13 state region. These incentives help build communities, create jobs, and strengthen economic growth. 
With this video, we want to shine a light on the vibrant growth within Alabama's communities that the Appalachia Regional Commission has been able to help facilitate. Are you one of the 37 counties? If so, we hope you feel inspired to take action and see what opportunities that the Appalachia Regional Commission can bring to your community.